when I found out about Islam and what Islam is and what a Muslim is, alhamdulillah, I immediately had to convert to this religion at the age of 19. I felt like I had no choice, as I was saying to them upstairs like that. Finding out just what it means alone, one who surrenders their self to their creator. Me knowing that I have a creator who created me, I feel that I have no choice but to surrender myself to that creator. Some people ask me, like just at dinner, someone said, what made you become a Muslim? Why did you want to become a Muslim? And my response to that is, it's nothing to do with whether I want to become a Muslim or whether I don't want to become a Muslim. We have to be, be Muslims. It was created by a creator and we have to surrender ourselves to our creator. That's it, it's as simple as that. So, um, and in surrendering myself to the, my creator, I stopped rapping because I felt like I had to start loving the things he loves and hating the things he hates. So I, started, I stopped rapping and took myself away from certain things. I went to go live in Egypt for a while. So I had a rap for maybe three years, etc. When I came back to England, the imam from the masjid, he called, he called me into the back office and it was Eid. And there was lots of people in, in the masjid and loads of kids playing, having fun. But there's not much, you know, as Muslims, we, try, we struggle to find fun things to do sometimes. So it's like, no one don't know what to do. Kids are just running around chasing each other. Like, what our young friend here is just wants to do right now. So like, there's not much to do. So the imam called me in the office and he said, Bilal, a lot of these youngsters, they knew you before, they all listen to rap, they know you as a rapper. Why don't you go out there and do some rap about Allah, Islam, etc. And now I'm saying, I thought it was a joke. Like, we, we, me and the imam, we get along, we have banter with each other. So I was like, come on, are you, are you trying to get me in trouble? Go out there and rap. He says, yeah, go out there and do some rapping, man. They'll, they'll like it. I said, no way. No way. I stopped rapping a long time ago. He said, no, I'm serious. Talk about your journey to Islam. Don't you have nothing like this that can inspire the youth? They don't listen to me no more. This is how he's making out like They don't listen to us no more, these youngsters. They go out there. You're cool. You're young. Go and rap to them about Allah, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, put this in. Don't you have nothing like that? So I was a little freestyler back then and I used to always make up little things. So I had this lyric about, when I was living in Egypt, it was quite emotional for me because I used to think about my past life and what I left behind and all my old friends and my mother and my sister and just everything. And I used to think I'm out here all by myself in this foreign country. It was Ramadan, it's iftar and I'm all alone, like get, ordering food from a takeaway shop or doing noodles. And it makes you reflect. And I think to myself, I'm doing all of this because of this religion. So I made up this lyric and I remember doing it there like, I find myself in the other side of this world, all for this religion, all for what Allah revealed. You find Bilal in a small flat by himself, Quran in between my knees, books piled up on the shelf. And as I read memories, flash me in my day, everything looks different, so many things have changed. To Bilal, now this world doesn't look the same, all the things I used to like, I can't even like again. All the things. So I made this up and I remember doing it at the masjid that day. And when I finished, I was scared. I thought they was going to come up to me and be like, halfway through, I thought people was going to stand up and be like, stuck full of lies, rapping in the mosque and walk out. <laughs> but they didn't do that. And I was looking at some of the old Asian uncles and Somalian uncles with these white beards. And they was, I was thinking, he's not going to understand me. Like, the way I rap is so fast, etc. I used to be a bit faster then. It wasn't like how I done it now. This is a new style. It was more, I found myself on the other side of the, this style. So, I was in a stand up, like, what is he saying? I don't understand. But instead, the same old brother that I was, I caught eyes with before, he came up to me at the end. Somalian brother, he's like, Mashallah, brother, very good. Do you have this on CD? I want to give it to my children, etc. So, it had a good impact. So, this is what, it was never my plans, I want to be a poet, I want to be a Nishida, I, want, I, did, I wasn't really interested in these things, I just knew I wanted to be a Muslim, what, 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 is, and what is required of me. And that was it, so this was never my plans to be like a poet or etc, etc. And it was just that, that day some brothers come up to me and they said, can I have your number, can you come and do it at our university? I said, yeah, okay. I went to the university, I done it. And then some other brothers called me and said, can you have my number, could you come to, to where this day, three, four years on, this is exactly how it's gone all the way, it's never been like, big website promotion, it's just my number gets passed around and now alhamdulillah, it's, this year I think I've done in America four times, I'm going Holland in the morning, so mashallah it's really spreading and it's touching the youth etc. So I'm going to share some of that with you now, I'll start off with my original story, first things I've done and then I'll go into some newer stuff inshallah. You see, you see, Jamaica is my background, London is my birthplace. 
Why didn't they teach me about Islam in the first place? I was on the verge of walking around with a screw face. It's a good thing I wasn't too cool to read the first page. Yeah, Jamaica is my background. London is my birthplace. Oh, why didn't they teach me about the religion of Islam in the first place? I was on the verge of walking around. My streets are London with a screw face. Now I say it's a good thing. I was never too cool to read the first page. See, I was raised around the guns and roses. Inspired by the story of Moses. Ask Allah to have mercy on this soul of mine. I was raised around guns and roses. Inspired by the story of Moses. Ask Allah to have mercy on this soul of mine. You see, when it's cold outside, I need my coat on. My mommy looked in my eyes and told me, hold on. She said, there's danger down the road that I walk on. I know who walked on it before, now they're all gone. Either locked in the cage or down in the grave. This is the outcome from the traces we made. Alhamdulillah, I feel I've been saved. Alhamdulillah, I feel I've been saved. Alhamdulillah, I feel I've been saved. Alhamdulillah, that's why I'm here today. You see, it's amazing when I look at where I am today. This ain't what I was raised amongst, I'm calling it's the chosen way. I used to go into my church every Sunday. My mom was cooking rice and peas, listening to reggae. I was a typical black boy, typical black household, working with my jeans low, face like I own a road. Before there was no hope, I used to make a lot of dough. But ask me about Islam or Allah, I say I don't know. Then a few books, a few months, a lot of reading. A new season, it brings a new way of thinking. I reason with a Muslim, he's speaking, I listen. I smiled because of the beauty I found in his religion. You see, this is what was missing. The final piece of the puzzle. It's all starting to make sense now. Before I was all muddled, I was stuck in a jungle. Blind like a bat, now I see quite clear. It's a laugh, thank for that. Yeah, he brought me the facts. Now the boy from the flats is the boy who lays head down on the mat. So simple as that. And now that I found Islam, inshallah, I'ma never turn back. See, I was on the outside looking in. Get old child lingering Thinking should I take it now the thoughts were just wavering Will it make my daddy proud? What am I gonna say to him? Can I go back to my house? Mommy, I'm a Muslim How's she gonna take it down? How they gonna take it in? Will I end up kicked out? Will I get a kick in? I don't know what to do, I gotta plan my next move I wanna take your hardest room, already gotta think it through Now what's right for me, I have to do you see, I live for me and not for you. I don't believe that is true. The things I read in the news, it's my choice. I'ma choose. I ain't got nothing to lose. It's a religion, the truth. Read the books, found the proof. Ismail came to me. He sat me down and said to me, what's your purpose in life? Could it just looks like a game to me? And I would think occasionally, Ismail is right. I need to fix up my life tonight. Could be my last night. So just before the summer, the year was 2002. My mind's already had a wonder. Now it's time to make a move. I made my way down to my studs where I link up with my crew. I'm sitting on a single chair, running my fingers through my hair. I said, yo, it's your Phil, it's your older brother here. Thankfully, he says, yeah, it's my yo was downstairs. He'll be up in a minute, he's having a word with his mother. When he comes up, I tell him, look, I want to take my shot out that. He looks at me and smiles. I stand up, receive a hug. He said, I see you as a friend and what? I look at you like a bruv. Now, I could feel the love. I was no longer feeling lost. He said, you should take off that cross and let's take a drive to New Cross. Well, I met my uncle Yasser and his brothers from all over. And they said, it's time to leave the ghetto life way over your shoulder. So I said, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There's no true God except Allah, Muhammad is his messenger. Now I ain't going to church no more. I'm going Juma. Friday, straight on Mos Muntaz and the Khutbah. I wanted to get the front row. I had to get there early. He read the prayer in Arabic. I understood it barely. I really got to learn it quick. Got myself a teacher. Then I went to Egypt so I could learn the language better. I was feeling all emotional, I wrote my mum a letter. In Egypt, feeling lonely, wanted to find myself a lover. Tried to get married, suffered a little bit of racism. Remember him saying she couldn't be with me because my parents were Jamaican. And me arguing, hey, but I still pray and I fast in Ramadan. He said, no daughter of mine is marrying a black man. I said, okay, cool, I'm going to make the art for you. And you know what, brother, just make the art for me too. I was just happy I'm a Muslim that came from the streets to Islam. The ghetto, now when I see my brother give a palm. Embrace with a hug and greet with salam. Salamu alaikum. Yeah, I'm a Muslim that came from the streets to Islam, the ghetto. And when I see my brother give a palm, 
Embrace with a hug and greet him with salam. Salam alaikum. And my mum, she always tried her best to make sure her son was focused. Mum always had a smile no matter how slow I progress. My mum would always say, you see my son, he's the best. And mum never let me forget that this life's just a test. But we was raising Christianity, I used to go to church. Mum would drop me off to school then she rushed off to work. But mum saw her son change when I turned 19 and she still loved me the same when I converted to this thing. She just started asking questions. Son, why you do that? I said, mum, sit with me, watch a DVD of Ahmed Dida. And slowly but surely mum would recognise the truth and appreciate the changes that I've made since my youth. And she, when she knew I was flying away, she wanted to spend the day together. And this was our moment, we went mashed in together. And it was enough to make me smile to see my mum with a hair cover. And then she broke the news she wanted to take her shahada. I said, Allahu Akbar, because obviously I love Allah the most in this dunya. And then I love the Prophet and his sunnah. But after my love for Islam, Comes a love for my mother, definitely. I love a lot the most in this dunya. And then I love the Prophet and his sunnah. But after my love for Islam, comes a love for my mother. So tell my mother if I die, don't cry. Pray for me, I'm a Janazah, why? I believe in a life that goes on beyond the sky. I'm just trying to get there while I'm here still alive. And yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't think that I would ever leave the things that I've done before, but I now they see me in the street, they say, Bilal, how's it going? And I reply, alhamdulillah, it's going fine. You see, the grass is greener on the other side. The women are more cleaner and the men are more polite. I love my new family, I love my new life. See, now I can smile even if I die tonight. But if I die tonight, tell my mother, don't cry. Pray for me, I'm a janazah, why? I believe in a life that goes on beyond the sky. I'm trying to get there while I'm here, still alive. They ask me my religion, I tell them I'm a Muslim. But am I a Muslim in Allah's eyes? Will I get to join the party, the party of victory, and celebrate this victory in paradise? That's why I'm living like a black slave. I came a long way from my old days. And now I live life in the slow lane. Making my way to my destiny. Try to live like a black slave. I came a long way from my old days. And now I live life in the slow lane. Just making my way to my destiny. But it's like, I guess we all forget what we came for. What we're made for, what we're aiming for. It's like we forget our purpose. Am I still lost in this life that's worthless? We forget what we came for, what we're made for, what we're aiming for. It's like we forget our purpose. Am I still lost in a life that's worthless? Sometimes I ask myself, why do I even stand on this stage doing poetry? Do I do it for the fame and so everyone can notice me? May Allah fill my heart with sincerity and if this ain't good for me, then take this away from me. Why do I even put my photo on my CD? Do I do it for the praise and so everyone can see me? May Allah fill my heart with sincerity and if this ain't good for me, then take this away from me. Why did I let her take a photo standing next to me? Am I lost, caught up in this life or do I think about the life that waits next for me? May Allah fill our hearts with sincerity and if this ain't good for me, take this away from me. See when the sky turns black, my future starts to fade. And all I have is what I see in front of me today. Cause this could be my last hour, that's the reality. I worry about tomorrow if I meet him and he greets me. Yeah, I was a black boy lost till the age of 19. Pick up my first book, I'm inspired now to read. I always had an image of a bad boy in the street, but always had a crazy love for Allah inside of me. Now what's the truth for the life of this world? I was sitting there asking myself Cause I could get the money and the girls quite easy I could be a superstar always seen on TV But does it make me happy? Will it make me smile? Does this last forever? Or just a short while? What happens after the nightclubs, after all the rays? After all the name fame when my name starts to fade? After old age when the bones starts to fray? What happens after the church or the mosque or the grave? They say the topic of death is depressing I say it depends on the person and the vision Cause after these years we're surviving in a prison I pray there's a life waiting for us in the heaven Imagine a land of justice and perfection No more police, poverty and politician After being in them streets Victim of the system we're finally free Running round like the children And this could all be But I know it won't be easy 
They say one from every thousand. I just want that one to be me. Living in a land of no rain. Always good weather. I'm prepared to stop partying today so I can party there forever. But they don't see the vision like I see it. We're caught up in this life. Lost so be it. I just want to chill with a wife and a Moroccan mid tea. Visualizing paradise because that's where we want to be. But sometimes it's like I got the dunya on my shoulders. The young brothers say they can't rely upon the oldest. So there, come to me with all the questions. And B, what can I do about my unlawful obsessions? And I'll be like, wow, how did I end up here? It's funny how life could turn around within some years. The other day, I was hustling, dropping off a sample. Now they say you're setting an example. I'm dealing with a handful of sins trimmed down from a mountain. Looking at my past like the gang I rolled around in. Sipping at the Zam Zam fountain. With my ram around my aura, around my brown skin. Looking like a black Kunta Kente. Our slave, field slave. Young Daniel's son, and Muhammad is my sensei. I was spending money in Versace and Fende. Now I'm getting new Emiratis tailor made. And why they drinking Mo and Shandon in the party? Now I'm third row in Acton, praying Kiyam Lit. Alhamdulillah. You see?